governments and the global community must think of welfare promoting actions to address these global and national challenges at a much more overarching level than the one uh, within the remit of the discussion today. The third and final point I would like to make is about the opportunities theme, which is one of the three strands of discussion in the panel. Today, we see that there's a clear swing in global health from diseases to the space of systems. During the five decade long era of disease specific focus in global health, it was perceived all along that investments in high priority diseases could strengthen health systems through a knock on effect. But that clearly hasn't been the case. And as disease specific programs got well on their way to implementation, concerns related to the inability of weak health systems to deliver on program targets has become a preeminent concern. A transition in global health from diseases to systems uh, makes a strong case for health system strengthening and indeed of health systems reform, particularly so in mixed systems of healthcare. These are systems where public and providers and private providers of healthcare both operate. These are environments where governments fail to provide universal coverage to their populations and where out-of-pocket expenditures, which are the most regressive means of health financing, become preeminent. These are environments where quality is compromised and where costs are also, uh, often levied. It is critical to appreciate that whilst we make the case for reform in such settings of healthcare, and whilst we broaden the base of primary health care, the potential within the principles of health promotion to maximize the impact of reform must not be underestimated. Community participation as a process, people-centered priorities as a principle, and equity as a goal must be at the heart of the reform process. There are positive synergies between these and the outcomes of health systems performance which center on fairness and financing, equity in outcomes, and responsiveness. These synergies must be realized. In the area of governance, governance and political systems cannot be held accountable for what they deliver to their populations unless the societal political culture is strengthened through community engagement. Responsive service delivery cannot be structured in reconfigured systems of healthcare without leveraging on the strength of community oversight. People have a critical role to play in decentralized systems of care, in outsourcing management arrangements, in cases of public-private redeployment, and in cases of grant of autonomy to state institutions. These opportunities, despite the obvious linkages between health promotion and primary health care, uh, the linkage is not clear, and these opportunities are often missed. Part of the reason for this stems from the fact that health promotion is an, Ill, is an ill understood term. This lack of clarity acts as an impediment to its inclusion into policies and plans at different levels. Conferences such as this help to address these lack, this lack of clarity. I must commend the organizers once again for attention to this thought stream. In my own humble capacity, I have attempted to make uh, a modest contribution by making this a central theme in my forthcoming book which is focused on health reform in Pakistan, a publication which the Oxford University Press will be releasing in December this year.